Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today we're gonna get a little cray cray. So one of my curl friends, Cassandra from the YouTube channel Cassie California XO, has challenged me to do this crazy mad scientist Frankenstein concoction of all of my curly hair products. I have to mix together all of my styling products and make basically a super product and then apply it to my hair and uh, see how it looks. Now Cassandra actually made her video of mixing all of her curly hair products back in September. So that was a good like five months ago. So I'm so sorry it took me so long to accept your challenge, but here we are. So I'm kind of excited. I obviously have a lot of products to choose from. I am not gonna be using any shampoos, conditioners, or deep conditioners or edge control because that's just kind of weird. But I am gonna use all of my stylers, meaning gels, creams, leave-ins, maybe a little bit of the sprays. But I'm actually feeling pretty confident because I have some really amazing products and they're all sulfate and silicone paraben free. So they all kind of have the same similar good ingredients. So hopefully they all could just come together and just make an amazing product, right? But all right, let's do this. I have my little clear bowl right here and I have my Boon, if you're new to my channel, this is a perfect time to subscribe because you're also about to learn a little bit about everything in my collection. So uh, go ahead and push that button. I'll wait. So let's just jump on into my little product heaven over here, starting from the top. Let's use my good old faithful favorite, the Diva Curl Super Cream. Now because I have so many products to go through, I'm not gonna use too much. So I'm just gonna use, let's just use like one, Pump. Is that gonna be enough? Okay, fine. No. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do two pumps. Two pumps of super cream. Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. A little bit of that. Diva Curl Believe In. A little bit of this. Oh, okay, that's enough. Calm down. The Diva Curl Mr. Right. This is a good little like refresher spray. <coughs> Why not? We have the Diva Curl Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. Oh, now we're getting creative. Now we're mixing gels, creams, and foams. Two pumps of that. It's getting interesting. I have my Diva Curl Set It Free Spray. This is a spray that I love to use to refresh as well. All right, I think that concludes my Diva collection. So now we're gonna move on to my Curl Keeper collection. Curl Keeper is definitely one of my favorite brands. That's why they're over here on the top shelf. And I'm gonna grab their Curl Keeper Styling Cream. Ooh, the Curl Keeper Original. This one is really interesting. This is something that I like to use to refresh and it's a very liquidy consistency. It's almost like water, but it's so good. It's a great lightweight refresher. I guess I could use the Curl Keeper Slip. And then another one of my absolute favorite gels of all time is the Curl Keeper Frizz Control Gel. Oh! Well, now I'm going to go for Can2. My favorite Can2 styler is definitely the Can2 Curl Activator Cream. This is only like five bucks, so I love having an affordable styler option. It gets really good hold and I like to refresh with this as well. It gives me good day one hair. And we're gonna do a little dollop of that. We're gonna move on to the Rizos Curls. Rizos Curls is a pretty new company. It's Latina and women owned, and they have an amazing curl defining cream. This is the one I use if I want really big hair. So it gives you like really good day one hair, big volume, and also great curl definition. All right. Oh, and this one smells so good. Trey Lux. I have their Curl Styling Serum. This is their Reflex. The first time I used this, I put too much and it made my hair kind of crunchy. Haven't used it in a while, but we're gonna put a little bit of you in there. Now I'm gonna grab the Trelux Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream. This is one of my favorite creams to use. Oh, it smells so good. What does it smell like? It has a really sweet smell. It gives me great curl definition. So I'm gonna get just a little dollop of this. Add that to the mix. New to the family down here, I finally got some Camille Rose. I'm going to be doing a full review on this line soon. Don't worry, 
subscribe and like if you want me to do a full review on the Camille Rose products. But everyone loves their curl maker. So let's add a little bit of this. Let's add two pumps of that. Although I don't really use leave-in conditioners, I do really like the Camille Rose Fresh Curl Revitalizing Hair Smoother. This is their avocado and castor oil, and it smells really good, and it's a great leave-in. Two pumps of that. Moving right along to my Shea Moisture section, what do I have? I guess I'm just gonna have to do some of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Always an all-time favorite. So I'm gonna go in for a good little dollop of this, like so. Briogeo has a Curl Charisma Leave-In Defining Cream. Add a little bit of the cream, a couple drops of that, because it's getting kind of large. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab the Curl Charisma Frizz Control Gel. Ooh, now we're getting some different colors in here. Moving on down here, what you can't really see is the Curls Blueberry Bliss line. Uh, like I said, I don't really use leave-ins, but if I had to use one, I do like the Curls Blueberry Bliss one as well. It just smells so super sweet. It smells like cotton candy. Oops, well, that was kind of a lot. And another popular Curls one is their Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. Oh, y'all. I think it's safe to say that this is probably my favorite gel of all time because it works so well and it's so affordable. This is the Dippity Do Girls with Curls Jelly. And as you can see, it's literally $4.99. And apparently this is like a really old product that like our grandmas used to use and it's back and it's still kicking. Only problem is it's kind of hard for me to find here in California. I've only been able to find like a TJ Maxx and like Marshalls. But it is pink, so that's fun. That's gonna make this concoction a little bit fruity. And I'm gonna add a scoop of this to the mix. Hee hee hee. This is getting crazy. I have some Mayel Organics. This is their Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. Add some mousse in there. And I'm also gonna get the Mayel Styling Gel. This is their Honey and Ginger. Just a little bit of that. Oh, I also have the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Mousse. Two pumps of that mousse. The Tali Wajid Shea Cocoa Curly Hair Curl Souffle. Dollop of this one. And last but not least, I have the Pure Oils by Silk Elements Jelly Curls Light Hold Gel. This is also a new one that I haven't really talked about yet, but you don't have any silicone, so you can come play at the party. I think that's everything. This is a good little mix right here. Oh, oh, good thing I didn't use too much. <laughs> it smells like a big old fruit salad, to be <laughs> quite honest. Curly girls are always smelling like coconut, you know, pineapples. This is just very tropical, a tropical mix. Oh man, this consistency is so weird. It's kind of freaking out, whoa. What is this gonna do to my hair? So here's my concoction. It's this very weird, goopy, moussey gel cream something. So now it's time for me to actually apply this to my hair. My hair is freshly washed out the shower, shampoo, conditioner, but no styler yet. I am gonna grab my Curl Keeper water bottle just to make my hair a little bit more damp. Let's do this. I actually need my hair to look cute tonight, so uh, I need you to work, okay? So I'm just gonna just go in for a little scoopful. <laughs> Rub it together. <gasps> Here we go. All right, breaking it through, getting all the curls. Grab some more for the other side. And this is how I always apply my products anyways. I kind of rake it through my hair, make sure every curl gets some love, and then I scrunch it, scrunch it back up. Looking pretty defined and shiny right now. 
That means everyone's getting along, working together for the greater good of a good hair day. All right, there we go. Every single curly hair product I own in my hair at the same time. This is really different for me because I'm already someone that likes to use one styler when I do my hair and that's already weird to most of you. So this is a lot. Funny thing is, I know a lot of you out there that use a million products at one time anyway. So you're like, this isn't even a challenge. This is just me on a Monday. But I have seen YouTube videos where I remember one girl used like seven products to make her curls look good. If you need to use seven products to make your curls look good, five of those products probably aren't doing anything. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for as long as possible, maybe diffuse if need be, and I will show you the final result. And I'm back, my hair is now dry, and I think it looks really good. <laughs> let me show you guys a close up. Curls are looking defined. I thought it was about to be as hard as a rock for putting that much gel, but I feel like the leave-in conditioner kind of softened it out. I don't know guys, looks good to me. But let me get some volume. Fluff it out a little bit. Let me just diffuse it a little bit. This is my Curly Co diffuser on my Diva dryer. flat but that's kind of just how my hair is on day one anyways don't know if I'll be refreshing with this tomorrow but not bad now do I recommend mixing 26 products together to get these results no no I don't but I feel like if you have really good working products with really good ingredients you can't go wrong well, this was very interesting to say the least. If you found this video entertaining, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And let's take our friendship to the next level. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. That is where you will get the first exclusive sneak peeks as to what products I'll be reviewing next. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank <laughs> you.